Hi everyone and welcome to this month's Pinterest project. We are going to be making a wooden snowman face. Perfect for, you know, winter time of year. Luckily we haven't had snow yet. Um, well, I take that back. We had like dusting. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we are going to be making this lovely little wooden snowman face. So the first step is we're gonna take the white paint that you guys got in your kit and we are going to paint this wooden plaque. Now, it's up to you if you want to totally coat it with white, make it bright white, if you want to make it a little bit rustic. Um, after you paint, if you want, you can take a little bit of sandpaper to the edges. Um, I'm going to try to just use like kind of a thinner coat so that I get a little bit of the wood behind it because um, the ribbon that I had with my kit was the burlap. So I want to make it a little bit like rusty farmhouse kind of vibe to it. So all we are going to do is start painting this. So I'm going to open up my white paint and just start painting. Alright, now I don't know if you guys can see this corner edge here. There we go, I think it's on there now. But you can see a little bit of the wood is showing through. That is exactly how I want it. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do the rest of this wood. I, you guys have seen me paint enough white. Um, and then when I'm done painting the full plaque, I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so my board is completely painted the way I would like it. I still have almost a full container of white left, so you guys should be able to get a pretty good coat on there. Like I said, I wanted a real thin, rusticy looking snowman because my scarf's gonna be burlap. So this is how mine is painted. I've got the whole thing on there. Once you're done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to figure out where exactly you're gonna want your face. This bottom part here, um, let me move this up a little bit. This bottom part here is going to be where we're going to be putting the scarf. So we're going to want to do the face in these top, ooh, as I bump the whole camera. <laughs> um, we're going to want to do the face in the top three here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to place my nose first. We've got our little piece here. I want the edge of my nose to be a little bit more rounded. So I'm going to take some scissors to this piece of felt and trim it a little bit. I want it to look a little bit more carrot-like and not so much. <laughs> oh, and I'll stay on screen so that you guys can see me just trimming up the corners there. All right. Perfect. So now it looks a little bit more carrot-like. So I'm going to put the nose probably like right about here. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe center it on the board a little bit more. Okay. The other thing you can do is, if you'd like, you can take a little bit of the black paint to mark the nose a little bit. Give it just a little bit of, I don't know if you want to call it texture or, <laughs> but just a little, a little something to make it not just a piece of orange sticking out there. So I'm just going to take a real thin paintbrush and I'm just going to go along the top just a little bit. Make it look like like a carrot. There we go. A little bit of dirt on that carrot nose. <laughs> All right. Looks good to me. And if you wanted to even like smear it around a little bit so that it's not so streaky, 
You can just take your finger to it. There we go, nice and blended in. Best part is, is if you don't like how it looks, it's felt, you can flip it over and it's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> All right. So once we have our nose, you're gonna wanna decide where you wanna put your eyes. And then you are going to paint those. If you have like buttons at home that you wanna use or something else, um, just to change it up however you'd like it to look. I wanted my snowman to look like he had um, little pieces of coal for eyes. Um, and I thought that would look cute. The example had buttons on it. Um, and so I didn't include buttons in the kit because I thought it made it look a little bit kiddish. But if you guys like that, like, I mean, it all depends on how you create it. So if you want buttons, add buttons. <laughs> So now just where my nose is, I'm actually going to move my board a little bit because if I don't, I'm going to keep knocking the camera. <laughs> All right. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to do kind of like a tilted face. So we're going to get the first eye right over here. And the second one's going to fall kind of like right, right where that right there all right perfect so now I am just gonna fill that in so that it looks like pieces of coal the other thing that you could do is if you wanted to paint it like a perfect perfect circle you could take a little bit of that white paint and add little like listening spots to it, some little stars, or just up in the corner if you paint like a little stripe of white, that gives it a little bit more dimension. But I want this to look a little like a piece of coal, so I'm not making it Super straight. All right, let's go ahead and start working on this one. This one's a little bit of a challenge because, like I said, it fell right where the two pieces of wood kind of come together. And then we're going to do the same thing for the mouthpieces as well. And again, if you've got buttons or little rocks or, you know, whatever you would like to use, you can use that to create it. This guy's looking a little rough. Maybe I'll change my mind and smooth out the circles here. That's the nice thing about painting it, too, is if you don't like how it looks, you can just go in and touch it up. <laughs> All right. So we've got the eyes, now I'm going to move this up a little bit and we're going to do a cute little smile here. Might move the nose just a tad. Alright, and then we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Alright, and that'll be his cute little smile. And then just remember you want to leave that bottom part blank because that's where the scarf is going to go.
So he's got a nice little smile there. We've got his nose. Last but not least, you are going to do the scarf. So I gave you guys enough ribbon where you can do the scarf one of two ways. You can either place the scarf, like the example, where you had the one ribbon. Oh, let me move this up a little bit. Where you had the one ribbon coming down and then like you tie it like a scarf. So like you'd actually come around the wood piece and just like tie it like a scarf. And then just like glue it down that way. Or there's enough here, if you wanted to just cut and glue the edges, you can trim and make a bow with what's there. Because my burlap is nice and rusty, I actually like how it looks looking kind of like a scarf. So I'm just going to finish touching this up and gluing all these pieces down. And that's it. That is our wooden snowman. If you wanted to add any other touches to it, if you've got like a tiny little top hat you want to put on the top, <laughs> go for it. We would love to see pictures. I hope you guys had fun with this one. Um, and like I was saying, we would love to see your finished projects. You can go ahead and send those to the email that this video was sent from. And we will see you guys next month. Thanks so much. Have a great night.